Uh, the first tool, and you probably know a lot about this, is GitHub Code Spaces. Now, I think this tool is really going to change the way that developers work. It's visually Visual Studio Code in your browser, and it's deeply integrated into GitHub. So everything that you can do with Visual Studio Code, you can do with this Code Spaces. Now, recently, GitHub announced a quick way to jump directly into Code Spaces. So you can go into any GitHub repo and directly jump into Code Spaces by just hitting the period. So let me show you how that works. If you, let's open up a repo. So this is from a Tailwind course that I'm working on right now. So here I am on this repository. If I want to convert this into a Visual Studio Code code space, all I have to do is just hit the period key. Now that will fire up code spaces and load that repo directly into it. So you can do that from any repo whatsoever. Uh, and then, so if I wanted to say that I'm away and I don't have my machine next to me, I can very quickly just go to a repo if I notice perhaps some sort of issue and uh, hit the period key. And as long as I'm logged into GitHub, directly go and get a Visual Studio Code editor that does the same thing as anything that I would be using in my local machine. And it's super fast. It starts up pretty quickly. That's something that they have worked on. If you uh, were to read the blog on how they did this, they actually talked about how they've reduced, they put the entire GitHub code base itself on GitHub. And they were able to reduce the load time for those things from something like, I think it was 45 minutes to get the code base to, to start. So by doing a lot of caching, they were able to reduce that to just uh, under 10 seconds. Uh, you can see that it started a lot quicker. And once you start it up, if, you, if you've already cached it, it usually starts up a little bit quicker. So you can see that it looks exactly like Visual Studio Code. And anything that you can do in Visual Studio Code you can do with this. Now, last week, I also demoed an additional tool that does something pretty interesting with this. And the tool is called Code Swing. It's actually by the developer who is the product manager for GitHub Code Spaces. And what it does is it allows you to jump into a uh, essentially a, a, uh, like a code pen version of a GitHub repo. So if I, I'm going to open this up. All right, so another interesting thing is that if you go to any repo and you want to send somebody a link that jumps, takes them directly into, you know, a code space, all you have to do is instead of github.com, you switch the URL over to github.dev. So all you have to do is to switch that over to github.dev. I don't know if you can see uh, github.dev, but oh, it looks like. I don't know if you saw it there, but you, you change the URL and then you can copy that link. Or if you just copy the link to your repo and you replace that TLD from .com to .dev, it'll send the link that jumps somebody directly into uh, code spaces. So if I go to this URL and I show this in the last toolbox, then this is actually using an extension called code swing that opens a repo up or lets you open a repo up as essentially what would be a code pen. So you get the three different tabs down here for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and then you'll get a live preview of the code. So this kind of lets you replace something like code pen. The advantage here is that you can use the full power. It's running a little bit slow on my machine, but it actually normally opens up a little bit fast. So this will actually let you just take a project and then create a code swing that it's like a code pen, but still giving you all the power of something like GitHub. So another thing that it, this will do is that this is just a regular project. So if you have build tools, they can actually work in this mode and you can do diffs of different branches. Everything that you can do in GitHub is now available in sort of the code space style, which I think it's pretty cool. It's gonna open up a lot of sort of things for me in the way that I teach coding. So hopefully uh, you can use something like that as well.